If you're looking to add an assessment to a workspace, you click on this assessment tab here and create question set. So what that's going to do is it's going to populate your workspace with a question set and then you can add questions to it by clicking this add questions. So it's going to bring up your editor where you can name your assessment. So I'll call this World War II Timeline Quiz. And then I can pick my question types. So I'll start with a multiple choice. And what I can do is I can add or remove questions up to 10. So I'll just leave it at three for this one. And then if I want to add another question, I just click the arrow over or I can click insert question. So I'll do another question. And I can set my answer. And what I can decide to do is I can save it and then it's not published. So if I just hit save and close, there's my quiz. It's not yet published. The students would just see that there is a quiz there, but it's not yet published. So let me show you the student view. So as a student, here I am seeing that there's an assessment um, in the workspace that is not yet published. Then the teacher can go ahead and hit publish now or at the beginning she, she could have published it right away. So what I'll do is I will publish this assessment and you'll see here that now the student has an assessment. And I'll zoom in. So on the student side here I can answer the question, get that one right, and I can go through at my own pace and answer. So, okay, so the students have finished answering, the teacher can hit stop. And it's just letting you know here that if you stop and the students haven't finished answering, we're tabulating the results. So you'll want to make sure the students have all finished answering. I hit stop and now the students in the workspace and the teacher can see the results. So the student sees their own results, their average over time, um, and then they can see each question how they answered it, and whether they got it right or wrong. And the teacher has the same view, but for the whole class. And she can also click on and get a reminder as to what the question was and how each answered it is displayed here. So you'll see I only did one student, so the rest of the class has skipped.